kind of story about Band Aid or uh, if you have a. Uh, you know, uh, oh, about Band Aid? Yeah. Yeah, well, well, they did Band Aid in my studios, my, my, my late wife and my studios. It was her idea, not mine, because I didn't really like Bob Geldof very much. And uh, at that point, I like him now. Back then, I didn't like him. And, uh, but she said he wanted the studio for a charity thing. And uh, we let him have it, and it turned into Band Aid. It was incredible. It, uh, I wasn't even going to go. And then my late wife called me up and said, Get your ass down here. It's all, it's all kicking off. It's the only time in my life I've had to say, I'm Chubba Warren. This is my studio. Because they wouldn't let me in yeah. first. And I said, I am going in. I'm Chubba Warren. This is my studio. <laughs> they had to let me in. That's the only time in my life I've ever done that. And everybody, everybody who could uh, sing in England was there. Loads of them. Loads of people. Everybody. The guy from Duran Duran. Everybody. Bono. Sting. Tony Hadley. Paul Young. Just everybody. And I got them to all sing something. Because I did the 12 inch. I didn't make I didn't produce the record. Uh, it doesn't sound like I produced it either. So, so that's my recollection of it. We did the 12 inch. We did, I did my part of it at eight, 8 o'clock the morning after. They gave us the master tape. And we made a 12 inch for that. Great. Poi, la cosa più importante è che, però, diciamo che la cosa bella, secondo me, da sottolineare è il fatto che lui non aveva un buon rapporto con Bob Geldof e eh, gli, è stato, gli è stato chiesto di prestare il suo studio per questo evento, diciamo, caritatevole e benefico e lui ha prestato volentieri questa cosa qua adesso tra l'altro sta pure in buoni rapporti con Bob Gale questa è una cosa molto importante